um, she actually asked me, she's like, you don't hang out with me anymore. What happened to my daughter? I'm like, she's still here. One of my favorite memories with my family was during Christmas time. It was just a time for like everyone in the family just to be goofy, like my dad, he was just super silly. We bonded a lot, um, taking the bus instead of driving the car. She got to spend time to talk with me and that, again, we don't usually get because she would work a lot. In my teenage years, I was a rebel, like a big time rebel. I have really, really, I have hurt them so much, I made my mom cry. I know a lot of people don't have those good memories or those good times with their parents because they don't have parents or they just weren't there for them emotionally, but my parents were always there for us and um, I feel very blessed. I feel like as I got older, I wanted to kind of move away from my mom and I kind of listened to my peers, like, oh, you're spoiled, you're always with your mom. I only call them if I need something, but I, I don't like that. Like, Dad, can you help me with my taxes? <laughs> yeah, it's very high in buy bases. We pass and we go, and like when she comes home, we don't talk. Once I left in the U.S., they were like, yeah, then she's never going to keep in touch with us because she doesn't like us. It's hard because, you know, they're not physically present, and I don't, sometimes I don't know what to talk to them about, you yeah. know. Do you remember what the last thing that you said to your parents was? Mmm. <laughs> I don't. Maybe bye? <laughs> I think it was something stupid, like, go enjoy lunch or something. <laughs> and I remember dropping them off at the airport, and I hugged them goodbye. I said goodbye to her as if I was going to see her um, the next week. I just remember just, like, breaking down and crying and just realizing that I wasn't going to see her for a while. The other day, we had a small fight, and then I was like, I didn't speak to her. And then I thought the worst, like, what if something happens? What if that's the last thing that I said and I couldn't correct it, but I'm, I don't know. I think I, I just would be speechless. You know, I do miss them, but I don't think I always tell them that. Sometimes it'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I gotta go. I'm, I'm watching Doctor Who. And I, I think I take for granted that, you know, they're healthy and they're doing well. And I would definitely feel like I hadn't said enough. Yeah. I don't think I've ever said enough. Because I deserve more. They deserve to hear how much I lo actually love them. And if you had the chance to change it, what would you say instead? What would I say? I love you. Um, maybe we can go get dinner. Sorry for being stubborn. Sorry for arguing with you. I know I've rebelled a lot and hurt you, offended you, tore you apart. And I really love you so much and there's no way any parent can replace you and I just don't wish that would happen. They've loved me unconditionally for my entire life and that's the same love I want to reciprocate to them. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. I know you don't show it, but I feel it. Thank you for being my parents.